Okay, we have new critters. We had a fan, Cat, if you're watching this, send us an egg-eating snake of hers. And we're going to just open it up here. He just arrived. Okay, the little guy or gal's name is Traveler. Since she has traveled with Cat quite a bit, but she is no longer able to take care of him, you know, things, things happen, things change in life. So we decided to take him or her in. Aw, you put him in a little pillowcase. Oh wow, is there is a bigger snake than I thought? Wow, this, this guy's got some weight to him. So I've been told that Traveler eats quail eggs, like normal sized quail eggs, which makes me think that Traveler is a girl, since usually females only get big enough to eat quail eggs, but we'll see. Uh, I should be able to tell. I'm also curious what species Traveler is, what kind of egg eating snake. We have Daisy Peltus and, or Daisy Peltus scabra and Daisy Peltus fasciata, and wow, you are gorgeous. You're much bigger than I was expecting you to be. Whoa, hi, Traveler. Wow, you are a beautiful egg-eating snake. Let's see what you are. Believe, do you have dark eyes? Let's see, yep, this is a Gansey, I believe. This is Daisy Peltus Gansey. Oh my goodness, you are beautiful. Cool. You look to be in really good shape, too. Hey, friend. I am pretty sure this is a female, then. And she is stunning. Yeah, that tail. Oh, man. Here, look at the tail, guys. The tail tapers pretty quickly there. So, yeah, this is a girl. Man, you are pretty. Kat, thank you so much for Traveler, and thank you for thinking of me. I'm, I was really excited to meet her, and she's much bigger than I thought she'd be, but it's perfect because we have a couple others this size, so we have food for her, and I'll set her up in quarantine, but we should be able to accommodate her just fine. We're hoping to have a uh, display with egg-eating snakes in it in our educational facility that we're working on at the moment, so she will be on display for everyone to see and used for educational purposes that way too. Thank you very much, Kat. I'll give you updates on how she does, and thank you, Patreon backers, too. Thanks for watching. Okay, Patreon backers, we have another uh, reptile or snake that we're opening today. I'm trying to find the opening to this. <laughs> I've never opened a snake box of this uh, these, these dimensions before. These are from a fan named Abby. And Abby, if you're watching this, I'm really excited to meet these little cuties. She has a species of snake that's native to Wisconsin. I'm not going to tell you what it is, though, on purpose to see if you can guess what it is. This is cool. I've never opened a box for reptiles like this before. And she wasn't able to care for the babies, so she asked if we would want them. And we said yes, especially because we can use these for educational, educational programs since they're a native species. And I've never had this before. So, oh, oh, cute. She put a note in there. I'm gonna open it off screen in case there's anything. Oh, they ate Monday. <laughs> in case there's anything personal on there. Aw, thank you so much for adopting three of my babies and for teaching others how to properly take care of snakes. Aw, okay, feed every three days. Two pieces of worms the size of their head. That is just the right feeding schedule. Any sooner, any more, they don't eat all of it. That's really nice of you, Abby, to put that in here. Thank you so much. Okay, I am ready. Thank you for all the instructions in there. That was really nice of you. What's inside? Oh, there's their little container. Uh, <laughs> be careful, they are fast. I bet they are, knowing this species. Abby, I love all the notes you have in here. Is it just the one container? I'm gonna make sure. Yep, just the one container. <laughs> I love this note, that's so great. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Abby, these are tinier than I ever thought. They How do I pick them up? They're so little, guys. Uh, okay, so these are Decay's brown snakes, guys. Let's see if I can pick one up. Oh my gosh, these are tinier than the tiniest garter snakes I've ever seen. You're so cute. So Decay's brown snakes only get like 8 to 10 inches long, so their babies, as you can imagine, are teeny tiny. Man, just this container is like a good sized habitat for them. That's how small they are. Oh, and there he goes, disappearing. What else do we have here? Oh, oh my gosh. Are there more than three in there? One, two, I see three right there. How many, how many are in here? Three, four, what? Oh, there's so many, babe, look at that little thing. 
Oh man, I am excited to feed these for the first time. I've never owned a snake this small before. Okay, this might be an actual video. I wasn't expecting them to be so adorable. Well, I'll see what I end up doing with this video, guys. I'm gonna set him back for now. And huh, I'm gonna figure out what to do for quarantine next. The Decay's brown snake is native to most of the eastern half of the United States. You can also find it up in Canada and in Mexico, so they're pretty widely spread. The good thing is they are not endangered by any means. However, people often take adults from the wild into captivity and they just do not thrive. They typically refuse to eat in captivity when they're wild caught, so they often will starve themselves to death. So if you ever find a Decay's brown snake in the wild, or for the same reasons, a ringneck snake or a red-bellied snake, just leave it in the wild. That's where it's gonna do the best. It's not gonna do well in captivity. So I'm a little nervous about these eating in captivity, but my fingers are crossed that since they were bred in captivity, they should do, and hopefully will do much better than wild-caught ones. As long as I can get them to eat, we'll be good. Okay, let's see if these little cuties are hungry. We've had them for several days now, and they are taking earthworms, but I have never actually seen them eat. I just see the worm pieces, like, disappear. So I'm hoping to catch it on camera here. Oh, here comes one. Come on out. Come eat it. You know, it smells good. Get that one that's moving. That'll catch your eye. Oh, there he goes! Are you gonna suck it back in? Yep, looks like it. Aww. I am leaving them in this shipping container for the time being because... It's really the safest container for them. I know they can't get out, and there's plenty of places for them to hide amongst all of the grass. So where the worms are now is usually where their water dish is. I just kind of swapped it out for feeding time. Oh my goodness, look at that face! Will you eat from the tongs? Look at this. Look at that. Doesn't that smell good? Come here. Try it out. No way. Are you going to eat from the tongs? Oh. It smells good. Oh my gosh. Yes. That was so cute. He took it from the tongs. Okay, let's see if I can get anyone else to do that. Oh, I've got a couple faces. Come here. Oh my gosh. You guys are so cute. That little mouth opening. <laughs> I have a piece for you too. I see your little tongue flicks. Come on out. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are the cutest little snakes I think I've ever seen. There you go. I wonder if I could get one to eat out of my hands. Would you eat this? Smells pretty good, right? Oh, oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing I have seen in a very long time. Oh my gosh, guys. I was not expecting him to be willing to eat. Is that tasty? Sorry for my gross dry hands, guys. Jeez. Is that good? Do you want another? I love how they just approach with their little mouths open and mush it into their face. Like garter snakes and water snakes, these guys give birth to live young. But because of their small adult size, which is really only about 10 inches or so, their babies are incredibly tiny. What I love about Decay's brown snakes is that they have these two rows of black dots that run down their back. They're not really visible on the babies, but they'll become more prominent with age. And these are snail, slug, and worm eaters. So they eat invertebrates. They are not mouse eaters. I mean, they're not big enough to eat a mouse even if they wanted to. So they do specialize in invertebrates. These decays are much better eaters than I was expecting them to be. Frankly, I was planning on them being picky eaters just like wild caught ones usually are. But I guess captive bred ones, that just makes a huge difference. These guys are eating out of my hand. There you go. Abby, thank you so much for these little stinkers. Cutest snakes ever. Okay, any other long-term snake keepers out there who still think it's like the cutest thing in the world watching their snakes eat? No, just me? Okay. I've been giving them earthworm chunks that are dusted with a calcium powder or a multivitamin alternatively. So like one meal I'll use the calcium powder and then the next meal I'll use the vitamin, the multivitamin. We have four that are nice and plump and healthy looking and they're eating and those two are eating out of my hands which i just learned today right now so i have really high hopes for the four and hopefully we'll have some nice adult decays brown snakes someday then we can produce them in captivity and there'll be fewer taken from the wild 
Oh my gosh, that little mouth. All right, here. You earned it. Well, these are going to be an adorably fun new project for us, just raising up these baby decays brown snakes. I never thought I'd own this species because of how difficult they can be to keep in captivity. But again, since they were captive bred, I think that's really what's making the difference here. And I'm excited to watch them grow. Thank you everyone for letting me share with you their uh, unboxing video along with Traveler, the egg-eating snake. Who is a diva, by the way. We have her set up in quarantine here. And she ate, like, all six of the Coturnix quail eggs I put in here in the same night. Oddly enough, though, she doesn't like button quail eggs, which I find kind of funny. She's just a little diva. We're gonna see if she's big enough to eat these, like, tiny bantam chicken eggs. But I don't know. She doesn't seem to like them so far. Hi, Traveler! How are we doing? Are you comfy under the aspen? She's like, what are you doing? I was sleeping. I'm nocturnal. Leave me alone, Mom. We'd also like to thank our Patreon supporters for backing this channel. We greatly appreciate everything you do and everything you contribute to us, so thank you very much. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.